6.30 right now. I am gonna take you through my morning routine. Um, I just really show you how I like set the mood for the day. I just wanted to take you guys along. It's nothing elaborate, but it doesn't have to be elaborate as long as you are taking care of yourself and you feel like you are coming out on top from your morning routine, that is all you need. Typically, I will have worked out by now, and I'm usually starving. However, I just did not want to work out this morning. Um, I'll do it when Kelsey goes down for a nap. Like I said, typically I'll have worked out by now, and I'll make myself breakfast, which is a reason I think it is so important, especially if you're a mom, to wake up early and get in this morning alone time to set your day up because it is so hard to eat as a mom and you just you need to make time for it you have to it keeps you healthy it keeps you happy like i turn into such an impatient person when i'm hangry so typically i would make breakfast now but i'm not really hungry so let's go do skincare okay i lied i'm gonna straighten my hair first the mom version of the dad tom clip um <laughs> i'm not gonna show that to you guys because i think everyone knows how to straighten the hair so transition all righty i straightened my hair it's gonna be about 20 minutes which is a lot faster than when i was in high school it's getting really long guys i had it like cut up to here meh maybe like here in um, January of 2020 because my daughter was still really young and I just did not want to deal with my hair. It's going to be a really, really bad angle. So one of my favorite, like for after styling, is the Moroccan oil. I've tried a few other oils as well. And Moroccan oil is, take my mic off. Moroccan oil is my favorite for wet and dry hair, and I literally only use one pump. And I just rake it through from mids to ends. And then I do put a little bit on my bangs, which I'm growing out. I really liked them when I had them. I just don't have the capacity to keep styling them like that, you know? Like, they used to be short, too. Like, they used to be up to here. So, I just love how the oil, like, smooths everything down, tames all the frizz, gives it so much shine. I'm gonna hate myself for picking on my phone, but... I mean, it just makes your hair look so polished, even if it's just straight. So, I'm not gonna show you guys 
me doing my skincare because my phone, again, horrible angles. I need to get a tripod back. I'll get it before we go to Italy because once we get over to Italy, it's going to take so long to get stuff shipped over. I've heard so many horror stories about getting things shipped even to um, APO addresses. I'm not going to like show you guys my skincare that I'm doing while I'm doing it. I'll just show you guys the products that I use. Found this line a few years ago when I was starting to take skincare seriously and fell in love with it. I think they are like a really, they're still like investment products, like they're quality and it's definitely not cheap, but they're also not unaffordable. So I'll show you guys everything that I use. All right, first up, we've got our cleanser. I really like this one because if you use it on dry skin instead of wet skin, it actually is a makeup remover as well. And it's really, really gentle. It doesn't leave my skin feeling tight and dry like a lot of other cleansers have. Next up is our microdermabrasion scrub. I've actually seen people online compare this to the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion scrub. And while I've never tried that one, this one is awesome. It is phenomenal at renewing your skin and I only use it about two times a week and I just find your products sink in so much better with a uh, consistent exfoliation. Next up is toner. I used to use the Thayer's Witch Hazel toner, but ever since I switched over to this toner, I've actually noticed an improvement in the texture of my skin. So let's talk serum. This one has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. Niacinamide is supposed to be really good in helping to improve the texture of your skin, and hyaluronic acid primes your skin to soak up your moisturizer. And if I hadn't used it, I would have told you it's unnecessary, but you need this, you absolutely need this. And finally, the product that started my obsession with this line is the Drench and Quench. You guys, this moisturizer is so insanely hydrating, but so insanely light on your face. You don't even realize it's there after a couple minutes, but you look so good and glowy all day. skincare is done I did not realize what a big difference having hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine makes I think after a moisturizer my skin just looks so much more glowy and like dewy I am trying to find a cure not, not a cure but I'm trying to work on lowering the redness on my cheeks and it's not rosacea I don't think it's rosacea because it I think I just I don't know like we'll figure it out I'll probably end up seeing like an esthetician or something once we move to Italy Alrighty, just thought I'd do a quick glance at the outfit before I go wake up Kelsey I'm just wearing some shorts from Old Navy I'm loving like mid-rise stuff right now because it really just is so much more comfortable can we please agree to never ever bring low rise stuff back again <laughs> and then this is cute it's like top from target i've actually got this in three colors because it's only eight dollars and i think it's really cute and it fits really well and i love the cut and it's just a little racer back so yeah i've been experimenting with like tucking my tank tops in or at least like these ones um, when I wear shorts because I think it makes my legs look longer than if I just have the tank top out and like down to here, you know, because I saw a picture of myself and I was like, maybe I should start tucking my shirts in because my legs look really short. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I don't know a lot about fashion, so I usually just stick to a cute shirt and cute pants, maybe a dress sometimes. So I'm going to go wake up Kelsey. Turn on your light. So sleepy. I'm sorry, honey. If I didn't wake you up now, you wouldn't take a nap. Yeah. 
All right, so I got Kelsey up and now I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I don't wear a ton of makeup every day. Like, I don't wear foundation. Like, I don't put a full face on. Not because I think I'm gorgeous without it, but because I'm not that good at makeup. I need, if you watched my house video too, where I was wearing a full face that day, I need help like figuring out stuff. So two products, well, the three products that I use every day, and I said two because I don't always wear eyeliner, but I always fill my brows with the with the Anastasia pencil. I use the like triangle tip one, the brow definer. I've tried the thin one. I might I might go back to that one because it was definitely easier to use, but. For sure, it does not last as long. And then eyeliner, I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It's all right. I don't know if I like the little pot liquid eyeliner or like the pen liquid eyeliner is better. And then I use the Lash Paradise mascara. I am dying to try it with primer though. I don't use primer right now. And I use this in black is black because sometimes I don't wear eyeliner at all. Like I said, and I just wear mascara, so I want it to be like noticeable. I'm gonna go put makeup on and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I feel like a human now. Like I said, just keep it nice and simple. Partly because I can't really do makeup that great. Partly because it's so freaking hot in Oklahoma right now. Hi, honey. So yep, that's, that's it. That's my morning routine. I... Uh, no, I don't get as elaborate like some people that go with the rollers and they'll go, you know, and do meditation, journaling, blah, blah, blah. Like, all that stuff is great. And if you can slowly build up to that, which honestly is one of my goals, I want to get back into journaling. It's awesome. Honestly, I've gotten really lazy while my husband has been gone for the summer. The first couple of weeks, that was good. But after that, it was just like, I do everything alone. Like, I take care of a toddler alone. Like, I stay up late watching TV because I go to sleep alone. So, it's been um, bad. I've gotten lazy for sure. But I am slowly trying to get back into it. And videos like this help keep me accountable. Like, waking up at 6.30 today, I felt, I feel, I felt tired, sure. But was better than sleeping in until Kelsey woke up and having to do everything while she was awake. Yeah. Because then I got my morning alone time, which is, for me, the best part of it all. And, you know, coming out of it feeling human. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've realized that your morning routine doesn't have to be anything crazy. As long as it sets you up for a good day, that's what matters. Take care of yourself and the rest will follow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.